All right, my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Chris and I am The Smoker Baker. Now in today's video, we're gonna do one of my favorite things over the rotisserie, the charcoal rotisserie, and that is chicken. Not just your traditional charcoal chicken, we're talking skin on boneless chicken thighs. We're gonna load these up on the skewer, sort of gyro Turkish kebab style, if you will. Now I have marinated these in a secret blend of herbs and spices, which unfortunately I cannot share at this point in time. But down in the description below, I will have a recipe so you can try exactly the same thing, just a little bit of a different flavor. This is quite an easy cook, guys. You just need to have the right sort of equipment, okay? Any type of rotisserie will do. If you have a windshield, um, this is a hooded rotisserie, so the hood acts as a windshield. Uh, highly recommend a windshield when you're doing open rotisserie, okay? Uh, it just makes it a little bit easier outdoors, but if you don't have it, it's not as if you can't do it, all right? Just need to manage the fire a little bit more, might chew it through a little bit more of the charcoal, okay? Depending on what the elements outside are doing, okay? I've got two mounds of charcoal. See how I've done them sort of in a circle, built it up, okay? Nothing in the middle. Right, let's just light these mounds here. So just light, drop it in. All right, and then if you want, you can grab some of this unlit charcoal. Just tuck it up a bit. Same on this side. And that's, you don't want to do that, okay? So try not to break your mound, but it'll be okay. Just try not to suffocate your fire, okay? All right, now we've got a fire going. Let's get our chicken onto our spit rod. I'll show you how to do it. Here's our spit rod for our chicken. Now these are called gyro discs. You need to get the right size that matches the width of your main spit rod. You need uh, one gyro disc on the end, okay? That's where we're gonna start loading our chicken from the top here, okay, from the spear. Goes in and we're gonna stack them all against this gyro plate. Build it up, bum, 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 bum. And then another gyro plate's gonna go on top to hold our chicken in place. Okay, to make it less messy, because it will get a little bit messy, um, I like to do it in a cardboard box. So just stand up your rod, okay? Slide your chicken down and build it. Any drippings will fall in the uh, cardboard, crush it up, throw it in the bin. Okay, so stand your pole up, grab your chicken, skin side first, okay? And what you want to do is you want to alternate. This one will go this way. Just give it a push down every time. You want a nice, tight fit. All right, so we've got our skewer loaded. We need to put our top plate on. You wanna apply a little bit of pressure here, but not too much pressure. If you push down too hard, you're gonna split one of these thighs out, all right? Just push down and secure it in place. Now you can see I've used one end of the rotisserie stick. That's because later on through the cook, I plan to put something else on here, okay? So just give it a turn. Make sure you've got no flappy bits sort of hanging down, all right? Because um, they will sort of burn, all right? You can see, nice and hot there, nice and hot there. That's pretty good. Just mix up your charcoal. All right, so you can see we've got a nice sort of distribution of heat. You don't want them all ashed over because if they're all ashed over, you're starting the, the cook really, really hot. And we don't need that for this chicken, okay? It's gonna spin for maybe about an hour before we start taking our first slice. So I'm happy with that heat. Grab a spit rod, make sure you've got some sort of barbecue gloves, guys. All right. Right into position. Get our lock. Put it in, turn it on. As a general rule, whenever cooking meat over the rotisserie, if you're seeing flames constantly licking the meat, you are too close or you are running too hot, okay? So it's okay with chicken, we're gonna get a nice char on it, etc. So you can sort of manage that, but just be careful. Generally, if it's licking the meat, you are running too hot or you're too close. All right, so it's been uh, an hour and um, yeah, it's looking and smelling sensational. I think we're ready for our first cut. All right, so this is our second cut, and about 15, 20 minutes in between cuts. See how juicy this is. All right, so this is uh, obviously very versatile, whatever cuisine you like. I've got some beautiful La Bandarita tortillas, made up 
a quick chimichurri, quick pickle de gallo. Let's get this toasted. Okay, so I'll just put in a, a grill. Just get our tortilla, okay? Let the rotisserie do its work. Get that juice. I'm just gonna slap it on the side here. Let it toast up a bit. Okay, so we've warmed up our tortilla. Let's cut some fresh slices right on top. That's the way I like to do it. So we'll grab our shovel. We'll get our tortilla. Throw it on top. Okay, slot it into position. And let's get some fresh slices. Come around here, guys. Have a look. in there now there, obviously there's so many ways you can eat this guys you know like uh, garlic sauce tabbouleh you know I'm um, Egyptian so I love that sort of stuff but um tacos are also good just so versatile Mexican Greek Mediterranean whatever okay so we're gonna go in with our pickle de gallo just on top mm. And uh, we're gonna finish it with a little bit of our chimichurri, just like that. And there you have it, my friends. Simple, delicious. All right, let's rip into this. Yeah. I mean. Man, that flavor of the charcoal on chicken doesn't get better. Doesn't get better. Mm. Literally insane. Okay. All right, guys. So that's my video. Uh, chicken thighs cooked on the rotisserie over charcoal. Slice and eat as you go. It doesn't get better. If you're not subscribed to my channel, and you liked watching this video today, do me a favor, smash the hell out of that button, ring the bell notification, and I'll see you guys in my next video. All right, guys, so as you can see, I've still got a little bit more cutting to do. Um, I'll let you guys know in the description down below how long this cook actually took. All my top tips and tricks down in the description box, all right? So if you're gonna do this, have a read before you give it a crack. Thanks, guys.